All right, so it is 5.05. I'm going to begin my presentation. If you all wanna give, um, give yourselves one minute to write in the chat what school you currently attend, what grade level you're interested in teaching, um, and what subject area you're interested in teaching. So if you all wanna do that, that would be amazing. Or you can put it in the Q&A. Again, what school you currently attend, what grade level you're interested in teaching, and what subject area you're interested in teaching. Uh, my name is Sharice Jackson. I am the one of the temporary program specialists for the teacher education program in our Center of Pedagogy here at Montclair State University. And I'm gonna be giving you all a brief overview about teacher education at Montclair State, what the program entails, how you can apply to it, and other information regarding that. Um, so I am going to begin. I know it's a Tuesday at five, so I don't wanna keep everybody for a while, but I do just wanna give you a, a great overview of this program. and get started. So thank you for those that have wrote in the chat already. Um, it, I just like to get a view of the room and what everybody is interested in teaching. Um, so we have elementary school to middle school, English and history, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Ruth. And again, if you're just joining, please feel free to put in the chat what school you go to, what grade level you're interested in teaching, and then what subject area. And then I'll go through that go through my PowerPoint, and then I'll um, go over some questions, leave some room for a Q&A, all right? So to begin, this is how it's gonna work today. Again, we're gonna do the teacher education program overview. We're gonna overview the admissions process, and then we're gonna learn a little bit about some more resources for students here at the university. So first, I just do want to emphasize how great of a program that we have here at Montclair State. Um, we really do have a model of excellence. Montclair State University was founded as a teacher's college way back in 1908. Uh, we were actually called the New Jersey Normal School for Teaching. Um, so we have been educating educators since 1908. So this is something we've been doing for a really, really long time. Um, Montclair State is a leader in preparing professionals to work collaboratively, collaboratively um, and change lives in education. Students are supported by pro professional staff members while they're here. Um, and they are dedicated to seeing student success in their journey towards becoming a teacher. All right. And just to emphasize, again, our faculty are leaders and experts in the field. Um, they are skilled scholars in education, and they are engaged in developing new knowledge and improving the practices in the current field. And right now, our education program at Montclair State is recognized as a national and international model for other colleges and universities. Um, we have many different awards for our innovation and our long tradition in social justice and diversity as well. So there are a few options that you can choose from regarding teacher education here at Montclair State. We have three main certifications that are listed right here. So the first would be our early childhood. So anybody interested in teaching from preschool through grade three would choose our early childhood certification. We also have our elementary education for students that are interested in teaching kindergarten through grade six. You would choose the elementary education certification. Lastly, we have a preschool through grade 12 certification, which what we call is secondary ed. Um, so this is for students that are mainly interested in teaching those middle school, high school levels, as well as specialty, uh, specialty areas uh, like music, art, dance, physical education, those type of things. So again, three certifications all listed here. And with each of these three certs, we also have the option for you all to do a combined bachelor's master's program. So this means you can do a three year long program here in teacher education, get your bachelor's in what's, whatever subject area you're interested in, whether that's art, music, dance, history, you'd get your bachelor's, you'd get your teaching, teaching certification in one of the three, P through three, K through six, or P through 12. Then you would get your master's of arts in teaching 
plus another certification in teaching students with disabilities. So this is an accelerated three-year track that, again, will earn you your bachelor's and your master's of arts in teaching. So you would come out at the end of the day in five years with two degrees, a bachelor's, master's, and two, two certifications, either P through three, K through six, or P through 12, and a certification in teaching students with disabilities. I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page with the three certifications plus the combined bachelor's, master's program. Please feel free to put in any questions that you are interested in the chat, and I will make sure that I get to all of them. So right now I'm going to go a little bit further and talk about exploring beyond. So students can also add additional certifications and minors to complete their certification and degree. Um, and here are some few options. So certifications to teach middle school or high school and teaching English as a second language, something you can add. We also offer minors in areas like teaching English lear language learners, history, philosophy, justice and family, Spanish and more. So if you find yourself coming across some extra room in your schedule, you have room to allow you to take more credits, it's definitely great to add another certification or either put some of those courses towards a minor. So you can just advance your skill set and advance your resume too. So this is our course snapshot for our single cert. So again, our four-year program where you would do a bachelor's of arts and then you would get your teaching certification and one of the three that we offer. So upon admission to the teacher education program, students can complete the program in at least three or four semesters. This sequence may vary if you're coming in with any transfer credits, but if you're starting as a traditional first-time freshman, you can complete, again, the single certification in three semesters or four. The difference between these two tracks is how fast you finish your bachelor's degree requirement. So let's say I'm a person that wants to teach English to fifth grade. I would be majoring in English. I'd have a BA in English. Then I would apply to the teacher education program for our elementary education cert, which is K through six. Depending on how quickly I finish my English coursework will depend on how soon I can start my education courses. So if I'm aiming to finish this program a little sooner in three semesters, I would complete my major coursework, which is my English degree. Then I'd also do some education courses because I've just been admitted to the teacher ed program. The following semester, I would do the same exact thing, finish up whatever major level coursework, English classes I have, start on my next set of education courses, then I would be enrolled in clinical practice one. Clinical practice one is when students are in the classroom for two days a week and they're shadowing a professional during that time. Then my remaining semester, I'm gonna be enrolled in clinical practice two only, so just one course, and I will now be in a particular school for five days a week, I will be doing the curriculum, teaching the coursework, et cetera. And now the professional staff member that I was shadowing will be shadowing me. That's our three semester track, three semester sequence. Next is our fourth semester sequence. As you can see, the only thing that was added was now in my third semester, instead of just doing, um, clinical practice two, I would be still finishing up my major coursework. So semester one, I'm doing my major coursework in education courses. Semester two, I'm doing my major coursework in education courses. Semester three, I'm finishing up my major coursework, finishing up my education courses, and then I start clinical practice one. And then my fourth semester, I'll be, clin uh, I'll be starting and completing clinical practice two. All right. I hope this is clear. If you want to take a screenshot or a picture of the screen, this is a really great idea to let you know how you can complete this program. Now I'm gonna be going into depth about the certifications that we offer. So this is a quick screenshot of the accepted majors and the GPA that are required for both our early childhood cert and our elementary education cert. If you are interested in teaching preschool through grade three, 
you must major in family science, human development with a concentration in families, children, and school settings. The GPA required for students to start this program with this major is a 3.0 overall and a 3.0 major GPA. Now, if you're interested in completing our elementary education cert, which is again, teaching kindergarten through grade six, you can be any of the following majors listed. We have 10 of them here. So you could be an anthropology major, you could be an English major, educational foundations, humanities, history, mathematics, psychology, Spanish. You can choose any of these majors and then apply to teach K through six. Again, the overall GPA required is a 3.0. Every single major requires a 3.0 besides mathematics. You can have a 2.75 in your mathematics classes. So this is again, what majors we have connected to our early childhood cert and our elementary education cert. For those of you who are interested in teaching preschool through grade 12, our secondary education cert, we have even more majors available to you. We have things like physics, physical education, linguistics, geography, French, Spanish, theater studies, visual arts. All of these majors run congruent with our P through 12 certification. The overall GPA required is a 3.0. And there are a few majors where your major GPA can dip a little bit lower. So biological science, for, for example. Um, mathematics, again, physics, earth science, you're allowed to have a 2.75. But these are our majors, again, that go along with our secondary education certification and the GPA that's required of these programs. If you're interested in our dual certification, this is the coursework and sequence that you would follow. This is a screenshot of your total five years here at the university. So instead of a semester breakdown, we break this down by year because it just is a little bit longer. So your first year, if you're coming in your freshman year, you would do your major coursework and some general education requirements. Montclair State is a liberal arts-based school, which means that we um, encourage our students and want our students to be well-rounded individuals when they leave the university. This just means that everybody's gonna be taking one science course, a math course, an art course, et cetera. That's what we call general education requirements, um, also known as gen eds. So year one, again, you'll be taking your major coursework. So let's just go back to my English example. I'll be taking my English classes along with some general education requirements. The same exact thing is gonna happen in year two. I'm gonna take my major coursework and my gen eds. The third year is when I would start taking teacher education coursework along with my major coursework. My fourth year, I'm gonna be adding now graduate level coursework because I am in pursuit of my master's of arts in teaching. So the fourth year, I'm going to be finishing up my English, my major coursework. I'm going to be enrolled in teacher ed coursework. And then I'm going to have a few graduate classes under my belt to get started early so that my fifth year, all I'm taking is graduate teacher education coursework. Please be mindful though, that you will have a graduation after year four for your bachelor's degree. Then that summer is when you begin again, some more graduate level coursework, do your clinicals. And then after your fifth year, you'd have another graduation for your master's degree, all right? And keep in mind at the end of your second year is when you want to be applying to the teacher ed program. The program, as you've seen in the previous slide is intended to be completed in four semesters, which is equivalent to two years. So there's no reason why you have to stay an extra semester or two, you can finish the teacher ed program in four years with your bachelor's and get your certification in four, or you can do this combined degree where you'd get, again, both bachelor's and master's and two teaching certifications in five years. Does this make sense to everybody? The program for teacher ed is intended to be completed in two years, which is why we have students do it the last two years there in school. 
okay? Junior and senior year is when students will typically do the teacher ed program so that they finish their certification while they finish their, their bachelor's degree, okay? This is information for our bachelor's master's program. Now we know that if you are interested in our early childhood cert, P through three, you can only be a family science and human development major. The only difference is the GPA requirement got bumped up a little bit to a 3.25 instead of a 3.0 because you're gonna be taking master's level coursework in this program. Same exact thing with our K through six certification. It's the same 10 majors, but the GPA is now a 3.25. And the difference with our P through 12 cert or there are fewer majors that run congruent with the bachelor's master's for the P through 12. So now for P through 12, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 majors. When previously for the single cert, we offer about 15, 16. So just keep in mind, if you're interested in the P through 12 dual cert, combined bachelor's master's, you can only choose from these programs listed here, and you need an overall and major GPA of a 3.25, all right? Now comes the admissions criteria. What do you need to get into the teacher ed program? First would be deadlines. This is super, super important. If you are interested in starting this teacher ed program in the fall, which is ideal, the deadline is February 1st. Again, you're gonna be a current student while this happens. You want to apply at the end of your sophomore year. So if you're interested in starting in a fall semester, again, the deadline is February 1st. If you're interested in starting in a spring semester, the deadline is September 15th. All students that are interested in our combined dual certification, you can only start in the fall. Therefore, your deadline is going to be February 1st. So the single cert, you can start in the fall or the spring. The dual combined certification, you can only start in the fall. After you submit your application and it's evaluated by staff members, qualified applicants are required to participate in the following activity. First, you're going to have an impromptu essay assignment. Then you're going to be interviewed in a group setting with your peers by our faculty. And then you will receive your admissions decision. So these are the steps that go along in admissions. Some other things that are required. The first thing is to choose an accepted major. So you saw the majors that connected to each certification. So you have to make sure you're enrolled in a major that is acceptable for the certification you're interested in. The second thing is you have to meet that GPA requirement, 3.0 for a single cert and 3.25 for your dual certification. You must successfully complete the prerequisite coursework. So prior to you starting in any of the three certifications, there are a few courses you need to take and pass with a C minus or better. And you also have to have a minimum of nine credits in your major. So let's go back to the English example. I have to have nine credits of English in order to apply to the program. And then you need to take a test, either the SAT, the ACT, or the Praxis, and pass with our minimal qualifying scores. So upon admission to our program, these are the few requirements that you must meet. To go back and explain our test requirement, students coming into the teacher ed program must receive certain scores in their SAT, ACT, or the Praxis Core. All three exams test you in the same subject material, reading, writing, and math. So if you're a high school student currently and you've taken the SAT or you plan on taking the SAT, these are the scores that you have to meet in order to pass the test requirement. 
So if you're going to take it after 2016, which would be now in 2022, you need to score at least a 610 in the reading writing and a 570 in math. If you're someone that's interested in taking the ACT, excuse me, or have taken the ACT, you need to have at least a 23 in English and a 23 in math. If you've taken these two tests or one of the two tests and you did not meet these minimum scores, or if you have not taken the SAT or ACT at all, you can opt to take the test called the Praxis Core. Again, they test you in the same subjects, reading, writing, and math, and you need to score at least a 156 in reading, a 162 in writing, and a 150 in math. Students tend to choose to take the Praxis Core because you can take this test online. So unlike the SAT or ACT, where you'd have to register and go to a testing center to complete the exam, you can register and complete the, the Praxis Core um, from any location. You could take this online. So it's just a little bit more convenient for students. But if you wish to retake the SAT or retake the ACT, you can definitely choose to do so. We have fee waivers available for these exams because you still do have to pay for them. And if you need any accom accommodations for any of you who may have health-related needs or disabilities um, and need extended time for tests or for those whose English isn't a primary language, we also have those accommodations as well. But I just wanted to make it aware and let you all know that this is a requirement from the state of New Jersey. It's not an MSU requirement. Anybody that's interested in teaching in the state of New Jersey must pass one of three these three exams with these following scores in order to complete an education program at any college or university within the state of New Jersey. So if there are any transfer students on the call, there are waivers and substitutions if you're coming in with an associates from a New Jersey two-year institution. Courses eligible for substitution may be included for early childhood and elementary and secondary ed, different courses eligible for substitution. Transfer students may also apply to the teacher ed program if they meet the requirements for admission, which was listed on the previous slide, transfer with 60 more credits, and have completed or are enrolled in the following courses at Montclair State University. So there are, again, just to be aware, there are different courses for prereqs for our secondary cert versus our early childhood and elementary cert. So this really just pertains to transfer students. So if there's a transfer student on the call and you have some more questions, please don't hesitate to put anything in the chat. Here are some resources that you may, um, what to know about that we have here available for our students. I encourage every student to get involved on campus. It really makes your experience that much better at a university. And we encourage students at the Center of Pedagogy to take part in the several available volunteer opportunities and become members and leaders of our student organizations. So we have volunteer opportunities like early childhood literacy through our Jumpstart program. We have a peer tutoring program and after school programs. We also have student organizations. We have the Future Educators Association. We have the Future Teachers of Color um, organization. And we also have the Teacher Education Student Ambassador Program, where we ask current teacher ed students to serve as a reference at events like Open House, Acceptance Students Day, and information webinars like this one. We also have a few diversity initiatives, as this is really important in today's day and age. We have a Future Teachers of Color initiative, Red Hawks Rising for current high school seniors. We have a Newark Teacher Project, and we have our Homes Honors Program for current teacher ed students that are high achieving. Once you become a teacher ed student, you are assigned a teacher ed specific academic advisor that's a dedicated professional for you specifically. They have flex flexible scheduling appointments and you can coordinate mentorship from your faculty as well. And now flip side for the career services part, because eventually you're gonna leave Montclair State with your bachelor's and your teaching certification. And we want you to be successful to land a job quickly after graduation. 
We have career services that are specifically tailored for teacher education candidates. We have workshops for career advising, workshops for resume and cover letter assistance. We have an interview skills and job search techniques um, workshop. And we also hold a teacher education career fair every year. So we are dedicated to your success and to your journey in becoming a future teacher. We also have scholarship opportunities for our current students. Scholarships are available for teacher education candidates specifically. There is also a federal TEACH grant that's available for eligible students. And there may be additional scholarship opportunities depending on what major you are. So I always tell students, let's say you're an English major or you're a phys ed major, check with your department, your major department to see if they have any funds available for scholarships for their students. Now I will take some questions, but I'll leave this slide up for a little bit so that you may be able to contact anybody from our team. So this is my email and phone number if you have questions for me specifically. I also do work close hand in hand with our program advisor, Dr. Ian Bowie, and then our director for teacher education, admissions, recruitment, and diversity. Her name is Ms. Danielle Epps. You can schedule a Zoom meeting with us. You can call us. You can send us an email. We're truly here to help you reach your goals and your ambitions. So do not hesitate to reach our office. You could email TE for teacher ed admissions at montclair.edu. If you happen to be by the university, you could visit us on campus in University Hall. Our website is online too. And you can give us a phone call and leave us a message and we'll, for, for, uh, we'll be happy to, to get back to you. Does anybody have any questions? Please feel free to use the chat function or the Q&A function. I'm going to also give you guys the opportunity to unmute yourselves and ask a question if you would like to. If you feel like today's session was amazing and you've got everything you need out of it, please feel free to leave the meeting. But if you do have questions, Stay on the chat and let me know. I'll stop sharing my screen. But if not, I hope everybody has a great Tuesday. Questions, anybody? Anybody have any questions? Okay, one question. I was wondering how flexible the certification system is. For instance, is it possible for someone who was originally getting certified for a preschool start to switch over? Yes. So once you're in a specific um, certification, you cannot switch. However, you can take an exam to add an additional certification. I hope that helps. It's a great question, Ruth, by the way. So once you're in, a particular cert, you can't switch, but you can test for another certification to add it. Is there a cap for how many certifications you can get at once? No, as long as you pass the exit test, so there's an exit praxis, if you pass it successfully, you could add that certification onto your repertoire because you would have passed the exam. That's a great question. No problem. Thank you, Ruth, for your questions. Those were great. Does anybody else have any other questions? Again, if you don't have any other questions, please feel free to get back to your Tuesday. If you do have a question, I'm more than happy to answer. Antonio or Chloe, do you guys have any questions? Thank you, Antonio, have a great day. Chloe, is the Praxis Core exam similar to the SAT ACT studying wise? It typically tends to be similar, Chloe, yes. Um, again, it is the same subject area. Um, the format I'm not too knowledgeable about, but you could always go online, click up the Praxis. They have test materials and everything like that. Um, so you can go on and see, but it is a, quite similar. It is quite similar. Anything else? All right, Chloe, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.